Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Alina. Today, I'm excited to share with you my recipe for easy and delicious vegan mashed potatoes that are made with only five ingredients and they come together in only 20 minutes to start to finish. These potatoes don't have any oil or butter or cream, so they are much lighter, which is great for occasions like Thanksgiving when you already have so much going on at the table. And besides, I'm going to share with you my secret potato cooking method that is just perfect for mashed potatoes. The potatoes come out nice and light, much easier to mash them, less elbow grease, and also it helps keep more of the nutrients in the potatoes. So without further ado, let me show you what we're going to do. Let's go. So here are our potatoes. I prefer to use russet potatoes, but you can also use Yukon gold potatoes if you'd like. Feel free to use any potato peeling method that you prefer, either with a conventional potato peeler, or you can also peel them with a knife. This is how my mom taught me to peel potatoes years ago. Now this is my secret tool for cooking the best potatoes for mashing. This is my steamer pot. Basically, you just fill it up with water, about one and a half inches or so. Then you put the basket part on top, put the lid on, turn it on, get the water to a boil. I usually do this while I'm cutting the potatoes. Then you put the potatoes in and let them steam. This way they will come out really nice and soft. So this particular steamer that I got is not available for sale anymore but I will link up some steamers that work the same way. You'll find them down below in the video description. While we're waiting for the water to boil, let's cut up our potatoes. We don't need the pieces to be very small. Something like this is perfect. This was probably three minutes or so. Let's put our potatoes in. So here we go. We gotta make sure that we put all the potatoes in the basket in a single layer. The great thing about this cooking method is that the potatoes are done really quickly. It only takes about 10 minutes, maybe 12. The potatoes steam evenly and become nice and soft. So when we start mashing them, it's actually quite easy. While the potatoes are steaming, let's measure out our milk. I've got plain unsweetened oat milk over here. I'm going to heat it up for just a little over a minute in the microwave. By the way, it's really important to watch that the water in the bottom pot doesn't evaporate. It's going to be boiling really fast and it's going to be evaporating very fast too. And if you miss that moment when all the water is gone, then the bottom pot will get really hot and start, start kind of scorching. I actually ruined the pot like that before. So if you hear that the sound of boiling is getting quieter or it's completely gone, check if there is enough water. It's most likely it's gone. So just add a little bit, like half a cup, maybe a cup of water. Don't worry, it will come back to boil really quick. Just, you know, something to keep in mind. Guess what? The potatoes are ready. Let's check if they're done. Yeah, you see, they're falling apart nice and easy. That means they're perfectly done and ready for mashing. To mash my potatoes, I'm going to use the bottom pot of the steamer and add the rest of the ingredients, granulated garlic, salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. Now let's add half a cup of milk and start mashing. Now I'm going to add the second half of my milk and back to mashing. Now this still looks kind of dry to me, so I went ahead and heated up another half a cup of milk and added it in here. See, at first it kind of looks runny, but then all that starch really drinks up all that liquid and the potatoes get quite a bit thicker. If these are too thick for you, then feel free to add some more milk. Time for my favorite part, the taste tests. Let's find out what, what these taste like. Mmm, mm. so good, so fluffy and light, and you don't even miss any kind of added fat like butter or cream or whatever. They have a nice garlicky flavor, but it's very light, very subtle. I can definitely see this at Thanksgiving or Christmas or just like any time you're craving some nice comfort food. This would make like a perfect size for just about everything. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. 
if you make this recipe please 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 let me know by the way i have it on my website veganrunnereats.com i'm going to link it up down in the video description and in the first comment also before you go check out this video i'm going to put right over here this is my recipe for delicious vegan eggplant roll-ups they're really really good and the interesting thing is that they are based on this mashed potato recipe so if you want to know what to do with the leftover mashed potatoes or just you know want to be creative check it out and let me know what you think i will see you very soon probably in the next video Bye bye